Let us pray in tongues. Mashe korubo se kekeri brahasin toro mo shankaya bataya. Le prokusha praku se kekeke li prokushe keri akanda liye senta. Li prokushe kere bo santa ni brokushanda rabaye se keriya. Rakabo shenteri akazu prokuse kente lida shandaya. Rakembo shantari brokuse keke li brokuso so 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 so. Rika kalibro ko shende yeke de liko robo se kete li gagaya. Raka kuzop roko she keke di kiti kaka kalibro ko sakanda. Nite keria karaku se teki akaya. Raka kuso proso so so se keke liya. Raka kakia kaduso proso so so. Raka kiria kaduso proso so skutonde. Raka kaka yeke ze kurubo shaka yataya. In Jesus name. Amen. Are we not privileged that we can speak in an unknown language? Are we not privileged that we can speak in the language as inspired by the Holy Spirit? Praying in tongues is a gift of the Spirit of God. It is a blessing to have that gift. Because by this gift of praying in tongues, we edify ourselves. The Bible says it edifies. Praying in tongues edifies you. Libro skeke shindoro sandaragaya. You makes you strong. You feel strong on the inside when you pray in tongues. But a greater thing is that praying in tongues communicates directly with God. It bypasses your understanding. It bypasses everything else. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 that the Spirit of God helps us in our weaknesses when we do not know what to pray, how to pray. When we, we are lost for words, the Holy Spirit takes over and helps us to pray those prayers that we really want to pray but we cannot articulate it. So we're able to say, Ragaga, Sigedege, Rekokoko, Shatala, Kiaduske, Rakakazusko, Tokokoko, according to the will of God. Amen. Amen. You know, God has called us to a holy estate. There is no other created being that has the nature of God. We are the only ones written in the scriptures in the book of Genesis, that God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. We are so blessed that God created us in his image and his likeness. And he called us into a place of glory and virtue, that we might be partakers of his nature, of his divine nature. So it is written in 2 Peter chapter 1, from verse 3 I read, As the divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which we have been given magnificent and great and precious promises, that through these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Amen. So I dare to say that the very nature of God has been given to us. The very nature of God is in you and is in me. This was accomplished when we believed on the name of Jesus Christ. He came and had his residence in us. In Christ Jesus, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells in bodily form. And the Bible says we are complete in him. Let me read um, Colossians chapter 2 from verse 9. It says, For he is the complete fullness of deity, living in human form. I'm reading the um, TPT version. And our own completeness is now found in him. We are completely filled with God as Christ's fullness overflows within us. He is the head of every kingdom and authority in the universe. The DNA of God is in you and the DNA of God is in me. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? So what is this divine nature? One of the attributes of God one of the reasons, one of the things that makes God God is that he is eternal in nature. 
this is a good thing for us because it means that we also are eternal in nature but it can also be a challenging thing because eternal means you are either going to have eternal life or eternal damnation depending on which path we choose to pick so we need to live with consciousness we need to live with consciousness not to take things for granted in the book of colossians we are admonished to live a life that is devoid of sin to live a life to, to put to death the deeds of the flesh that's colossians chapter 3 from verse 5 i read it says therefore put to death your members which are on the earth fornication uncleanness covetousness fornication pa um, evil passion evil desire covetousness which is idolatry verse 6 says because of these things the wrath of god is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them but now you yourselves as you and i were to put away anger malice blasphemy filthy language out of our mouths it says do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on a new man which is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him so if you have a divine nature you have the power to put down those deeds of the flesh the desires of the flesh as one created in the image of God, as one who is a partaker of the divine nature, we have to prove on the earth that that nature overrides the sin nature. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to allow the divine nature of God be made manifest in us according to Colossians 3 verse 12 that says, Therefore, as elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, long-suffering, meekness, bang with one another. Um, if anyone has a complaint against another, as Christ did forgive that person, it says, bang with one another, even as Christ forgave you. So must you do. But above all, the Bible says in Colossians 3, 14, these things put on love above all these things above all those things mentioned put on love which is the bond of perfection amen so this divine nature gives us eternal life and we don't just say oh i have eternal life i'm going about my life like that i have eternal life therefore i should live with consciousness putting to death the desires of my flesh the deeds of my flesh put to death the members that desire to do wickedly rather put on christ put on love which is a bond of peace this week as you pray in tongues meditate on colossians chapter 2 and Colossians chapter 3 that we expand sheets for us this divine nature okay and so I want us to pray that as one who is a partaker of the divine nature we declare that sin shall not have dominion over us we declare anger malice um, selfishness feel the language unforgiveness uh, those things would not manifest in us rather what will show up in our lives because we have this divine nature is the ability to forgive even someone that appears that can't be forgiven we have the ability to forgive because we have the divine nature we have the christ nature we can forgive we can bear with one another because we have the divine nature look it's not in your capacity to forgive a person it's not in your capacity to bear somebody else's burden but you have the divine nature which is powerful enough to enable you forgive that person that hurts you forgive that person that made you upset and it enables you to bear of one another's burdens the divine nature works in you kindness and humility let us pray 
And remember when you pray in the spirit, remember to pray for yourself, for your spouse, for your children, for that loved one that really, really needs your intercession. Let us pray. The divine nature of God, Nimbra Atakaka, walks in me, is at work in me. Libros, koteke teke keke keke ke, raka kasu soso koto koto, raka shike keke keke ke susu so koto koko, raka yaka su soso koteke keke 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 ke. Therefore, I put to death the deeds of the flesh. Rakisko teke ke kunto raka zika kaka yeke, raka kaka su koto koto ko yaka yaka. Ati you will not manifest on forgiveness you will not manifest for the divine nature is working in me it's at work in me it's at work in me forgiveness is working in me hallelujah mercy is working in me Legal zopre humanity working in me. Raka kakuso koso koto koteke yeki takaka. I let go of anger. I let go of bitterness. I let go of the deeds of the flesh. And setusu sakakakati kusu kuta kakakaka. I will not give in to the desires of the flesh. The divine nature works in me. Hizikita. Raka kakiso koto no kuske keka kakidi kiti kitika. Raka kuso koto kote keke keke kaya katu soto. Raka that to do as Christ has the ability to forgive, I have the ability to forgive. I have the ability, the capacity to bear other people's burdens, to, to share. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. I hope this has blessed you. Spend your week just meditating on the scriptures, praying through for yourself, praying through for your husband, praying through for your wife, praying through for your children. Pray, stay in there. The divine nature is working in you. The divine nature is powerful. It's God's nature. It will be made manifest in you. Have an amazing week. God bless you.